is up to second place and Schumacher has passed the Williams. Down into third and fourth position goes David Hillen. Wow, that's one of the Jordans. This is what we feared at this corner and that looks very nasty indeed. Miracle of miracles. This is well nigh unbelievable. Martin Brundle gets out of the car and he is seemingly all right. Through, we've got Mika Hakkinen. There is the flying Jordan in the background of Martin Brundle. The car rolls over several times. It looks like the back of the car is broken. That's the point at which the engine bolts onto the back of the chassis. The engine is, in fact, part of the chassis. The rear suspension on these cars. Mm -hmm. Racing instructor Jeremy Cottrell in the blue and white car. He even shows you how to have a big accident. How very thoughtful of him. Now, nobody can say that they're not sturdy chassis. Hayes, the super sub in the Carlin Motorsport team, makes a move down the inside into the hairpin. That was a brave move, and it's all gone wrong for Hodgetts. Hodgetts closes in tries to defend the corner just a little too late and pays the penalty and he is going to have to dig himself out from under there. Looks like he's OK, all the hand signals going under there, he just wants to get out and get up the right way but he definitely looks OK underneath the car but big accident, very big indeed. Or was that Derek Hayes just being too optimistic? Derek came from so far back, I mean when you looked on board with the car he looked like he's three or four car lengths behind but he looked in control, no lock up as he went into the corner and I think it's just unfortunate that Stefan just turned in right at the last minute Maybe if he'd seen him, he would have turned out, but I mean, it's just a little bit of contact, but it's so easy to send these cars up in the air. Well, a terrifying series of barrel rolls there for Stefan Hodges, but thankfully he is out of the car and OK. Looking to make it sixth, but we've got a driver ahead. When George Russell has got the DRS, so having to defend. Oh, massive accident. Oh, and rolling over, horrible crash. Thankfully, he's landed the right way up, but Dorian Boccalacci out of the race and great to see that Dorian Boccalacci is out of the car and seemingly all right. That was something else. And that is truly spectacular. And then into the gravel that sent him over. You can see the hands off the steering wheel at that point. That is a violent, violent crash. And see the camera ripped off the top of the car, the floor cracked. But thankfully, the driver is OK. So this is on board, and it's going to be a massive hit for Lorandi. Inside, Christian Backerwood trying to go up the inside. Oh, and that's a big, big accident there for Felix da Costa, who's gone off at Druids. There was contact between him and Christian Backerwood. The marshals are very quickly on the scene of the accident. Let's just take another look from onboard Ross Kerner. You can see up ahead the car, up on two wheels, and then over it goes into the gravel, over it goes again, and it rolls its way right up to the barrier. This was the view from Molly Smith's car. It was just a tiny touch that sent the car on its way. Well, the race has been stopped. There's no great surprise about that. Passou, já abriu outra, errou a freada e aí saiu capotando. Olha só, uma, duas, três, quatro, cinco, foi parar na proteção de pneus. Como saiu o Patrick Carpentier, tudo ok com ele. Absoluto com Durksen, que está andando e risca tantíssimo, brutíssima, esta tocada para... E non è successo niente, fortunatamente, però, per fortuna, bruttissimo incidente, rossa. forse è il più brutto incidente. Sì, sì.